Garrick Dieter is a kid who lit up the Mac at Bowling Green for 94 catches over 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. It's always interesting to see what a player is capable of doing at that level and then transitioning to one of the big five conferences. So we know that on occasion that a guy like uh, Dieter can line up against the Tennessee and be very effective. He's going to have to do it now week to week to week in the SEC, but it's in a, at a position where it's not physically demanding from the standpoint you're going to get beat up and have to withstand the grind in the SEC from that standpoint. And uh, it sounds like a lot of people are mighty impressed with what they've seen from this kid. Derek Dieter has come in, uh, Mark. The transition has been seamlessly great for him. He's come in. Our Darius Stewart, Robert Foster, Calvin Ridley, a lot of these guys have really welcomed him in. It, it seems like they've already built this band of brothers already with these guys. Gary Dieter, who is 6'3", 213 pounds now, a little bit bigger than Richard Mullaney was when Mullaney came in last year from Oregon State. Of course, Mullaney, 38 catches, 390 yards, five touchdowns last season in his one year with Alabama. Mullaney who laid out for every pass, whether he was grabbing the ball behind his head or whether he was reaching out and picking balls in. He, he had a knack for just putting his body on the line and making the play. Garrick Dieter is somebody that has the route running abilities of a Jordan you know, watch it. He's got the hands of an Odell Beckham Jr. to snatch the ball in. And with him playing in that slot role, he's going to get an opportunity to really go one-on-one -on -one with some linebackers, go one-on-one -on -one with some safeties, and really get on top of a lot of these guys. Saban used the word very productive when it comes down to Gary Dieter. He's done that in camp. He's in love with the strength and conditioning program. He's already built the bond with the players. And, of course, on tomorrow, this upcoming Saturday, Alabama has its first fall scrimmage of fall camp. So we'll get to see more of what Garrett Dieter can do as he gets into more of a scrimmage situation going up against the likes of the defensive backs that were named earlier. Stephen M. Smith from Touchdown Alabama joining us also catches new show the way it is Monday through Friday, 6 to 8 Central Time. That's on Tide 102.9. If you're out of the area, you can download the PUP app. Uh, again, the way it is, 6 to 8, Monday through Friday.